Hey everyone, I am so glad you stopped by. I got these watercolor paints in a while ago and I've been waiting to use them. And I have the perfect project coming up for our holiday color along. So I needed to swatch these out to figure out what colors I want to use. These are from Rebecca at the Art Spirits. She's out of the United Kingdom. And I saw these used on some other YouTube videos and they're just gorgeous. I had to try them like this one. This one is the Wizard of Oz. And if you open it up, it's got colors from The Wizard of Oz. There's the Emerald City. There's Yellow Brick Road. Gingham Blue. Tin Man. Sleeping Poppies. And Ruby Slipper. And these are metallic watercolor paints. These are all handmade by Rebecca over at The Art Spirits. And they're just gorgeous. Here is Ocean. I wanted these because I wanted to do some ocean color uh, lungs in the future. And we have uh, Sea Sparkle. Hmm, it's going to be hard to tell these apart. Sea Sparkle glistening syrup. On the side she has the little label so I'm gonna have to pull these out and see which are which. That's shiny shell pink. We got shimmering lagoon and mermaid dust and I'm sure that's the mermaid dust right there because it's sparkly and glittery. And over here are my metallics. We have true silver, blue steel bronze, copper. I would say that's bronze and we have a brassy and a fool's gold. I'm just gonna have to double check and pull these out. The one neat thing I like about these watercolor paints too is that they are made with honey. They're all natural with the pigments. She uses the best quality pigments in the binder which is honey. No fillers. When she sends these out they come packaged so nicely. They're nicely wrapped and they got all these little embellishments on there. Each individual color is hand wrapped and they're so tiny. I just don't know how she does it. So she recommends in warmer climates if you get these because they're made with honey if you try to unwrap them the paper might stick so you just put them in the freezer until the honey sets up and then you can unwrap them or I can't get my hands around that little wrapping so what I did is I took up an old makeup spatula and I would just or use a letter opener to open them up I'm going to be ordering some more so I'll show you how they come but like I said I've had these for a while I just never used them I'm excited to swatch them out today and then start using them on my color pages. The first thing she recommends, she has three different types of paints. There's the coarse glitter paint, there's the foil-like glitter paint, then there's the smooth and sparkly metallics. Now for the coarse glitter paints, those include like the ruby slipper, the mermaid dust, and I think those are the only two coarse glitter paints. She says those are best when they're used in a thick concentrated blobs in small areas. They can also be used in a more watery consistency for a sparse glitter effect. And we'll try a, a couple of ways on my swatch sheet here. Or you can use the, these coarse glitters real lightly over other colors. She also says the trick to using these paints is to let them dissolve before use. You're aiming for a thick, almost syrup-like consistency. Let me show you on this one. She said add four to five drops with a water dropper covering the entire surface of the paint. Some of them already seeped in on me. I may have to add more. Some just kind of blobbed up. Some of them dried out. And what I did is I took a syringe and filled that up with my water and just put the drops on as I went. It comes with a little cheat sheet here that I'm reading because <laughs> this is the first time I'm using them too. She also sends some really nice things to get you to relax. There's a tea bag in there. There's some candies. She also sends this little itty bitty bottle of glitter. So if you put your paints down and you want extra glitter or you can put glue down and put extra glitter, don't ask me how she gets all of that into this little bottle and put the lid on. Beyond me. And the next one that she has is a foil-like glitter paint. And that is, do I have any of that? No, I don't. So I'm going to have to get some of that in and see what those look like. And then you've got the smooth and sparkly metallics. So the rest of these are going to be the smooth metallics. They are made with a smaller mica material and only require a minute or so of pre-soaking. So the ones with a lot of glitter in them need probably about four or five minutes of soaking. And the others only need a little bit of time. For brushes, she recommends 
was synthetic brushes. She said brushes to avoid are soft animal hair brushes as they hold too much water. And you'll find that it's hard to get a dense application. She also doesn't recommend the aqua brushes either because it pushes out too much water and you won't be able to control the consistency of the paints. I'm going to go ahead and start swatching these out. I'm going to start with Oz. And you can see I already have my swatch sheet from Stacy at a tailored image. Only ones I'll use from now on. She has blank ones, so I set it up for how I would like these to lay out. So I did it by Oz Ocean Metals. And there's six faces and six colors. So it all works out perfectly. Let's get these going because i got to figure out which ones I want to use on our next color along. I'm going to move these to the side. We're going to start with Wizard of Oz. And I will put a link in the description box below to the Art Spirits Etsy store and also a tailored images Etsy store so you can get these swat sheets if you're interested. Rebecca does have a YouTube video out there on how to use her paints. I watched that before I started. I will also link that so you can refer to that too. Let's zoom you in and let's see what these colors look like. Get you in real close and then I'll move you around. So we got the first three going and then I'll move you for the next three. Emerald City is first, and I think I want to add just a touch more water to that. Let's do it this way. This is this will be good. I want to do that, and then I'll put these over here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to add just a little bit more water. I think that might be good enough for those. Push the water around. Ooh, get nice and thick and creamy. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, look at that. Beautiful green. Yeah, it's like a foily, glittery. Look how dark it can go on. That was a big clump of it, too. And if you get a big clump, just spread it around or get a little bit of water and move it around. Now, this isn't watercolor paper. This is just my usual Nina paper stock. It's about, I think it's 67 pounds. I'm going to try thinning some of this out down here at the end. See what happens. It's beautiful. It covers nicely. Look at that. That's just beautiful. I'm going to clean my brush off, wipe it off with a paper towel. What's next? Yellow Brick Road. I think I added too much water on that one. That's all a learning process. Look at that. That's gorgeous. See if I can get here on the edge and get a little thicker glob. Definitely going to have to put books on top of this to get it to lay flat. <laughs> next is Gingham Blue. So I think I got a little watery. I guess if you wanted to, you take a corner of your paper towel that you're using and suck some of that water up. You're going to lose some of the pigment, but it won't be as watery. There we go. Look at that. Nice and creamy. And look how pale it dried down. And now I'm going over it with a thicker layer. Just remember, by layering, you can add more color or more water, less color. A little bit more down in here. Got some on my brush, might as well. Just love the glitters in these and the, the foil look. Next is Tin Man. Ooh, how thick that one is. Oh, oh yeah. It's like aluminum. I think I might have to add some water, so I'm just gonna take a little drop. You don't wanna swish it around and get a whole bunch in your paintbrush and make it waterlogged. Just a little dip to move the paint around. These paints are gonna last forever. She gives you, it may look like a little bit, but you only need a little bit. And I don't paint all that often. Actually, I don't paint at all. These are so easy to use. They're not messy. And they're going to add some extra touches to coloring pages. Next up, Sleeping Poppies. This one's a little watery. Let's see how it goes down. Yeah, might want to take some of that water out of there. Live and learn. Just takes practice to figure out what works and what doesn't. That would look pretty just pale too. Okay, I'm going to take some of this water out of here. Yeah, that's a little more gloopier. Oh, that's a nice pink color. You could almost use it as like a coral color. And if you've been watching me, you notice I'm not filling my brush up with color. Especially for these little areas. Another nice thing I've noticed is it doesn't matter which way you put the color on the paper it just you don't see any brush marks you don't see the brush marks at all it just kind of all flows together that is really pretty it's funny how on this paper some of these paints will bubble up and some will bubble down <laughs> maybe it's just the way the paper is warping 
Last up, Ruby Slipper. And this is gonna be the coarse glitter paint. Let's see how gooey this is, man. Oh yeah. Said like a syrup-like consistency. But look at all the glitter in there. Look at all of that. I could just sit here and play and look at the glitter. <laughs> Let's see how it looks on paper. And for these, maybe you don't use them. Let's see how... Rebecca says, the darker colors, such as Ruby Slipper, look their best in a more dense application for small embellishments. So what we'll do is I'll just fill this in. So here you're starting to see the, because you're moving the glitter around. Yeah, so if you got something small and you want it red and glittery, pop a dot of this on it and you're good to go. Do a couple of dots. So if you go like this and a little bit in there, you have to practice with these. Okay. That's the Wizard of Oz. I like all the colors. This would be cool, like if you have little hearts on a coloring page, put globs of that in the hearts. That would be beautiful. We're gonna move on to our next, which is Ocean. I tell you, I'm not a professional videographer. I don't have a studio. I just enjoy doing this. It has helped me through some rough times. It helps me focus and remember things a lot better. Another thing I want to show you, this is so cool, is these are magnetized. He's got, uh, I just stuck my finger in it. Um, magnets on the bottom. Ooh, I just stuck my finger in that one. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Use my shaky hands. I can't do a whole, oh, that's an idea. Look at that. This is metal. These are magnetized. Ta-da! <laughs> I couldn't think of that sooner. Oh, goodness gracious. What I'm gonna do is once I find it, then I'll put it in. Sea Sparkle. So I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna take my brush and just get a little bit of water. Get that moving around. Just that little bit of water. Well, I had some water on it. Maybe it soaked down in through. Oh, beautiful. Look how nice that lays down. I'm definitely gonna have fun playing with these. Probably could have done the same thing with these others over here, but I had never used them before, so it's kind of tentative on how to use them. Next up is Glistening Surf. And I think I found it right here, Glistening Surf. See, I got some, some water in there, and this is really thick. I didn't add extra water. Let's see what happens. See how thick that is? Let's try that. Not adding extra water. It's a little harder to lay down. It's like a nice pale. It looks blue in the paint, but it's like a greenish blue. Very nice, light glittery. Yeah, this is a very pale color compared to like some of these. Very pale. I like it though. I'm sure you could build it up and make it a little darker. But I don't want to add that much water to this paper. Next up is shiny shell pink. Say that ten times fast. And I'm sure I know it's this one right here. Put that in there and we'll swatch that one out. I want to put a little bit, just a tad bit more water. Get it all gloopy. Ooh, that's a pretty pink. It's another pale color. It's so cool how these bubble up too. <laughs> it sucks up the water pretty good. Yeah, I like that one too. Actually, I like all of them. There isn't one I haven't liked yet. Next up, Shimmering Lagoon. I am going to guess it's this one. Yep, Shimmering Lagoon. Drop that in there. And then, just, I'm assuming, I keep putting my finger in this mermaid dust. <laughs> I guess I want to be a mermaid. Deep ocean glimmer, put that in there. And the mermaid dust. And I'm sure I'll get my finger in it one last time. Yep, pretty turquoise. Let's see how this goes on. It's gonna be a pale one or a bright one? Ooh, that's a bright one. Brush gets kind of stiff and you're gonna turn it around. Now I do have smaller brushes that I can get into little tiny areas. I just didn't want to dirty them up all at once. This works fine for the swatching. Beautiful. Okay, next up is Deep Ocean Glimmer. Which of that one's going to be beautiful too. See how that does. It's a little thick. Much better. These glide on real nice when you have enough water. Wait a little over there. Come on. No, not really. So yeah, you're going to have to be careful. Stay in the lines as best you can when you're coloring. Like a colored pencil where you can erase most of it up. Trying different things. Just playing. And finally, the mermaid dust, I think is gonna be like the ruby slipper. Yep, it's gonna be just like the ruby slipper. Good for small spots. So a good thing it seems like is to get a big glop of it and just kind of pat it on your, where you need it. 
I love those ocean colors. This last group are the metallics. True silver. Let me guess. It's this one. Add a little bit more water. Close to Toon Man, but he's a little more gray. This is more bright. I guess they have the same amount of sparkle to them for the foil look, but Toon Man's a little more gray. Next up is Blue Steel, which I'm assuming is this. Yep, Blue Steel. Oh, I got that real watery, didn't I? Okay, I'm gonna get some of that water out of there. I like the blue. It's a, more of a kind of a gray. It's kind of like a flat metallic. Kind of neat. Next up, bronze. And which one is bronze? Bronze. There we go, bronze. I like that color too. Copper. Oh, you can get laid down really thick. Look at that. Looks just like a penny. I really like this color. Copper's always been one of my favorite colors. I bet you these would look great on black paper. I may have to think of something to do on black paper with these. Maybe you can give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Another great one. Next is Brassy. Okay, Brassy. This has a little more glitter in it, I think, or the mica materials. This is a little thinner than the others. Kind of more like this surf or the shiny shell pink. Last up, Fool's Gold. Yeah, this is another sheer one. Let this one dry down a little bit and see what happens if we add another layer. Instead of just piling it on top as it's wet, since this is the last one. Okay, let's let that dry down and we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see how this goes on now. Oh yeah. yeah. Once it dries down and then it's not so wet, it goes on there a lot better. I'm gonna try the same thing with that brassy. Flat brush probably would have been better for this. So one of these skinny pointed ones. I'm gonna try a little bit of that brassy. Kind of in the middle there, you can see it's kind of washed out a little bit. These you probably would need a, a completely flat brush to pat that in. Well, there they are. I'm so glad I did this. This was so much fun. Thank you for joining me. I think I'm gonna let these dry overnight and then we'll cut them down hole punch them and put them on rings. Well, there they are. They've dried down. I've cut them out. And I was watching the video from yesterday. You did not get to see how sparkly and shiny these are. This is Oz. You see that? How they sparkle. And then we have Ocean. Same thing here. Look at that. And then these bottom ones are just really glittery. I love the shine of these. And here are the metals, they're the same. Glittery and shiny. And I can't wait to get some more in. I've got my little ring. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and I want the metals, the ocean, and then the Oz. And then I can just keep them in my little container I have here. I keep my paint brushes down here and my syringe. And then up here, I keep Rebecca from the Art Spirits card and any other little goodies she sends me. And then I can just keep these up here and I can just keep these in here with this. Or I can put this down here with my brushes, put that on top and everything's all together. Well, thank you again for stopping by. I had so much fun swatching these out. I hope you got to see what what beautiful colors they were. I will go ahead and put the Art Spirits Etsy store link in the description box below, along with a tailored image where you can get these blank swatch sheets. I am excited to be using these on our next coloring page, so stay tuned for that. That's coming up. So make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell so you have ready access to that video when it comes out. So we'll see you then. And until then, hang in there and have some fun.